Hello everyone, GoCub711 here, and welcome to my new Let's Play, which is... If you didn't figure it out already, it's going to be Let's Play Pokemon Pearl. Um, a couple things are going to be different for this uh, Let's Play. First of all, well, I'm not actually recording in my uh, bedroom. Um, or, I am recording in my bedroom, not my basement. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and shut up right now for this opening sequence. And there we go, okay, so, like I said before, a couple things are going to be different with this LP. First of all, I'm not in my basement, I am in my bedroom. Um, I'm obviously recording off of a DS, off of a camera that I have right in front of me, uh, because I have no other way of recording off of a DS, so, uh, let me just adjust this real quick. Okay. And I'll... Go ahead and press start as it says, or A, really, it doesn't matter. And my camera's not picking up that. Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Don't worry, you'll get, be able to see something soon. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Why did I choose that voice for him? Um, I don't need any info, I can just explain things. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you'd please. Why am I talking like this? Alright, it's on the touch screen, I just went ahead and touched it. And hey, it's Munchlax. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together. At other times, we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with, their, with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Well, if you can't tell by my very deep voice, I am obviously a boy. Alright, so you're a boy. Yes, I am a boy. Tell me, what is your name? My name, as I'm sure you all know, if you watch my Let's Plays, um, is Matt. I'm just going to keep that name, using that name, Matt, because that is my name. Your name is Matt? Yes, and my camcorder. Not my camcorder, my camera. Isn't picking this up. Uh, there we go, okay. Yes, my name is Matt. Okay, so you're Matt. A fine name that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Okay, now, some things that I'm going to be doing in this Let's Play again is I'm going to be like, sort of like jumping back to some of my past LPs, not only LPs, but just like videos in general. Um, this boy is blonde, and he, many rivals in Pokemon history, which is what this guy will become. 
is a jerk and blonde plus jerk I don't know if this is how you actually spell his name Derek is it that's her friend's name yes Derek the jerk from my sims agents and sky heroes yes it is all right Matt the time has come your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold on your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. So, so why did I give that guy that voice? And he shrinks us down. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, and I need to adjust my camera again. Usually just like a quick tap and the zoom button does that. Um, no. Come on, Tex, come into view. Come into focus. Focus. Um. Come on. Crap up. Oh. Uh, I guess that's good right now. Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Okay, so we're off in our bedroom, usually in the PC. Oh, no. No item for us. Usually there's a potion in the PC, but obviously not for us. And here's a Wii right here. It's a Wii. It's controlled by a Wii remote. Of course it is. Um, I do not like the focus of this. Okay, maybe when I go downstairs. Let's do that. Focus. Okay, there's our mom, our mother. Matt, and uh, I can't really tell there's a line in the way. Why is there a line in the way? Why is there a line on the screen? It's obviously not going to show up, but like I can't. Sorry, I'm kind of new at using this camera. Um. <sighs> crap. Can't get it focused. Uh, it's not working. Whatever, I'll just keep it like that, and if it's hard to see like later in editing, I'll fix it. Derek came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. And it's a little lopsided. Okay, there, it's fixed. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go off and see our friend Derek. Oh, hello. Oh, yes, Matt. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Fine, then. Okay, so Derek's house is going to be up here, the only other house in this town with a mailbox. And... Thud... What was that about? Oh, hey, Matt. Hey, I'm going to the lake. You come too, and be quick about it. Okay, Matt, I'm finding you a million dollars if you're late. A million dollars? What? I, I don't have that kind of money. Oh, jeez, forgot something. Well, that was strange. Okay, there's Derek's mother, and, and my camera is no longer focused. Come on. Camera, focus, focus. <sighs> this is going to be real annoying, isn't it? Okay, good enough for now. Okay, let's just go upstairs. I better take my bag and journal too. Oh, hey Matt. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. 
It's a $10 million finding for late. $10 million? I thought it was $1 million. Come on, dude. I don't have that kind of money. Why are you fighting me if I'm late? Ugh. Skew. And, okay. At least when I'm outside, it focuses pretty well. Okay, up here to Route 201. And there he is, Derek. Hey, you saw that news report that that was on TV, right? You know, search for the right Gyarados? Yeah, I just saw that before you said there was some sort of emergency. The mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake? That's in Johto, idiot. That show got me to got me to thinking. That show got me to thinking. You know speak English very well. I'm sorry. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Okay. Oh, and he's gonna follow you. Why does he... Okay, sorry about that. Um, actually, I guess my camera doesn't like recording over 10 minutes. I don't think it can, so, uh... Yes, I'm just gonna have to deal with that, but, uh... Anyways, I was saying, like, uh... Why does he have to follow me? Huh? Why does he have to follow me? Anyways, just go here. Alright, to the lake. Let's find some red Gyarados. What's going on? Who are those guys? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side, either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Don, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? After being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Hmm, there's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Okay then. Excuse me, let us pass please. I beg your pardon? Wait, why did I give Dawn the low voice? I beg your pardon, we'll be it. we'll be on our way. That sounds more childish than a girl's voice, but I can't make a girl's voice. What was that about? Those two. Sorry, I was gonna drink of water. Huh? Matt, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out, and I was just getting something away. There's my finger. And we're going to look into this briefcase. It's a briefcase? Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to deliver it, but who are they? I heard them say professor. Oh my god, birds! Birds! B Pokemon! What's going on? Okay, so this is where we get our first starter Pokemon. Alright, these first Pokemon are Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup. Grass, fire, and water. Fire beats grass, which be which in turn beats water, which beats fire. Um, Chimchar was the first Pokemon I chose. Piplup was the one I used in my last run through. Um, for this walkthrough, I already have all of my Pokemon that I'm going to be used planned out, and my starter that I chose was Turtwig. So to battle we go. With a wild Starly, you pretty much, you will not lose this battle. Even if, like, you don't even, like, try or anything, I think it's programmed, so if you get down to low enough health, the Pokemon will run. Um, alright, Turtwig starts out with two moves, Tackle and Withdraw. I think Chimchar starts out with Scratch and Leer and Piplup, Tackle and... Probably Growl, I don't remember. But anyways, just go ahead and Tackle. Turtwig, use tackle. Tackle, just spam whatever, like, the, um, attacking move that you have. It, it's probably going to be using growl. It knows growl and tackle. But you, you really just, not, like, need to attack it twice, and you'll, you'll kill it. Uh, withdraw raises your defense. Leer lowers the other, lowers the other Pokemon's defense. And, uh, growl lowers the opponent's attack. Alright, so my attack fell, but it only needs one more hit and it will die. There we go. Starly is dead. 
Not quite dead, just fainted. The wild Starly fainted. Churchwick gained 16 experience points. Awesome. Fwah! Your Churchwick totally rocked! Well, my Chimchar was way tougher than yours. There were other people's Pokemon, though. But we had to use them. They won't mind, will they? Oh, hey, it's Dawn, I think her name is. Yeah. Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Alright, sorry, like, I keep, like, talking like a robot or something, because, uh, um, because, like, I'm trying to, like, make a high voice, and I'm trying to read along with the text, but, yeah. Huh? Oh, no. Did you, did you use the Pokemon in here? You did? Oh, my gosh. What's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. Well, okay, then. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Matt. Matt, let's head out of here. My Pokemon got hurt, hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. And he's just going to take us out. Help me! You go ahead. I know we have to return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this guy. He's going to follow us again. Um, we could just go back and do that right now, but I'm actually a little over 15 minutes in this episode. Uh, so, I this is a very interesting experience for me. Um, that's going to do it for this episode. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Pearl, we will be, I guess, returning the Pokemon, sadly. See you guys then.